Hey, what's up, bookworms and metalheads? Mike today with something a little special that I kind of want to talk about. I don't want to really bury this in a book haul because this is just something that's just like so special for me. I wanted to kind of talk about it. If you don't know, I am a huge fan of the band Nightwish. They're really big in Finland. They're really big in Europe. Not so much in the States. They kind of have a following in the States, but they're not like huge out here. So that's why it was really shocking to me that, guys, I did get a letter from the founder of Nightwish. And I want to talk about really, I got to kind of take you back here and let you know why this means so much to me. I got to kind of tell you my, my origins with this band here. It, back in the late 90s, guys, there was this thing called internet radio. Yeah, before uh, satellite radio really blew up huge, you go on the internet, you can find streaming radio stations just before like Pandora and Spotify, things like that. And I was listening one year, and they had all these really unique subgenres, which was really, really cool. And so I found this one station called Christmas Rock. And yeah, it's just, you know, bands that would do covers of Christmas songs or things like that. You know, it's where I found like Trans Siberian Orchestra, things like that. Actually, you know what? Was Trans Siberian Orchestra out in the late 90s? I might, I might, I might be remembering wrong. Anyway, so I was listening to that, and there was this cover of a song called Walking in the Air. Which, if you don't know, Walking in the Air was a song I first heard on this old cartoon in the early 80s uh, that they used to show. I know it's a British cartoon. I think it's called The Snowman. Uh, but they had that song in that movie. And I don't know how I saw it in the States. It must have been, it must have eventually got syndicated over here or something. But I did see it, and I love that song. So when I heard this cover, I was like, who is this? And I looked at it, I was like, her voice is amazing. And so I looked up the band Nightwish. And I went ahead and said, hey, I'm going to try to order their CD. Now, at the time, it took like a month to get here because uh, Amazon was really in its infancy back then and it wasn't as easy to get a hold of stuff like Nightwish. They only had a couple albums at the time. They still weren't really huge yet. But I went ahead and got the album. It was called Ocean Born. And I said, like, okay, this should be cool. And I got the album and it completely just melted my face off. I loved it and it pretty much... A uh, star was born in my eyes. So I've been a fan of the band for almost 25 years now. And it's been just an amazing journey with this band. This band has meant so much to my life because there isn't music that sounds like this in the States, guys. Symphonic metal isn't really a thing. I know like for a minute there, they try to do like the Evanescence and the Lacuna Coil and things like that. And it had like its 15 minutes here and it was gone. But uh, symphonic metal wasn't huge in the States, really. So uh, the fact that I was able to find this band was one thing. And the fact that even now, I feel like they have gotten more of a foothold in the States than they used to. It still is very much like a niche thing. Now, like I said, huge fan. I've bought every album since. I've actually bought collector's editions of their albums and things like that. Mega, mega fan. So when I got this letter yesterday, I looked at it and I was like, wow, amazing handwriting. Who would send me this from Finland? And then I opened it up and I looked at the front. I was like, something very familiar about that artwork, right? And so let me read it to you. And yes, guys, if you've seen the way that uh, Thomas actually dresses, you will believe that he does carry a calligraphy pen with him. He does seem like the type. But the letter says, Hi, Mike. Just wanted to drop you a note and say how much I enjoy your YouTube channel. Our taste in fiction is very similar and your passion for stories shines bright. Keep up the fantastical work. Autumnal greetings from Finland. Thomas Halopinion. And I'm probably saying his name wrong. I've always, I've never actually heard it say it out loud. I've always just kind of just seen and I just, like, Thomas. That's why I always called him Thomas. And uh, I was like, that, someone's trolling me. There's no way. For real. Like, one of my favorite bands of all time, which isn't even huge in the States, is writing me a letter about my booktube channel. There's no way. So I looked at the signature and I went and got up to my room and had this framed picture from their Imaginarium tour where I actually have it signed and I did what anybody would do. And I signature matched Adonis's signature here. And yes, it does seem like it is legitimate. So I just wanted to make a video to say uh, if he ever does watch this again. Now, like I've worn Nightwish shirts and videos before. I'm thinking someone probably just said, hey, check this out and post it on their forums or something. And he saw it. But you know what? Maybe he is just a big fantasy book fan. And I think that's really awesome. If you listen to their music, it's not difficult to believe that they are big fantasy book fans. But uh, I just want to make sure that I let him know if he ever does see this how much your music has meant to me. It has been an integral part of my life for more than half of my life. It really has. And the fact that you've given me so much entertainment over the years, if I even gave you five minutes of entertainment, that's just pretty much the most amazing thing that I can think of. This is kind of one of those instances, guys, where the internet seems so big yet so small at the same time. Because like I said, this isn't a band that's, that's relatively huge in the States. And the fact that, imagine if... Think of your, one of your favorite rock bands right now. 
think of it. And think that you made a YouTube video talking about whatever, not music-based, and the founder of that band writes you a handwritten letter to tell you how much they enjoy your stuff. That's just going to mean everything to you, right? So I just want to make a video to say thank you. This is so super special for me. I'm going to put it in the frame along with this and uh, hopefully a ticket stub if I ever do get to see them because, you know, they don't come to the States very often and uh, I'm not exactly flying international right now, but uh, I'm so excited that this was able to actually happen. I've been with this band through thick and thin. I've been through through the heartbreak of losing Tarja and, and now Marco, but it's a band that I'm always going to stick with. And, you know, Floor is actually battling breast cancer right now, and I know she's going to kick its ass because that's what this band does. It just keeps surviving. So I also want to take this opportunity to say, guys, if you haven't listened to Nightwish, check them out. I think it's really, it might be a little shocking to your ears at first, especially if you're in the States, because it's not anything like you hear on the radio out here, but it's a band that uh, has just captured my imagination. And I think it's a band that uh, any fantasy book reader is going to love. So again, Thomas, thank you so much. This means the world to me and keep rocking on my friend. I appreciate it.